In today's number corner lesson, I will be introducing you to solving problems and solving Megan's marbles problem. But before we begin, let's review our calendar. Today is September 2nd, so we have another marker to turn over and think about. When we turn over the second marker, what do you see? I don't know about you, but I see two of those horseshoe things and two sticks. What's the pattern so far if we think about what symbols represented September 1? Could we make a prediction about the symbols for September 3? What do you think the next day will be? What does problem solving mean to you? Think for a moment. Here are some responses from students when they thought of what problem solving meant to them. It's figuring out a problem. Not just the answer, but what the problem is all about. It makes me think of story problems. Sometimes problems are about plus or minus or times, and sometimes they are more like puzzles you have to figure out. Can you relate with these statements? We are about to do our first Solving Problems workout. In the Solving Problems workout, you will think carefully about how to solve different kinds of problems. Some of those will be story problems, and some are more like puzzles. We will discuss our strategies for solving the problems, and we will also learn how to make sure our answers are correct, or at least reasonable. Megan is starting a marble collection. She has 14 marbles. Her friend Patrick has been collecting marbles for a long time. If Patrick has nine times as many marbles as Megan, how many marbles does Patrick have? What is this problem asking you to figure out? Before we jump right into figuring out the problem, the first two questions refocus our attention on what the question is asking and what information the problem will help us figure it out. Remember the strategies I am showing you here can be applied to much more challenging problems. So it is important that we learn these strategies now so that they can continue to help us in the future. Underline any information in the problem that will help you find the answer. I'm actually going to answer B before A because I think B helps me understand the answer for A. What do I mean by that? Well, I'm underlining 14 marbles and I'm underlining nine times as many. I want you to notice that both of these phrases that I've underlined have the numbers in them. Now I'm going to relook at what the problem is asking. Normally, it is the last sentence of a word problem. If Patrick has nine times as many marbles as Megan, how many marbles does Patrick have? We need to figure out how many marbles Patrick has. What information in the problem can help us figure out how many marbles Patrick has? The two pieces of useful information that we've underlined already. He has nine times as many marbles as Megan. And remember, Megan has 14, which we underlined too. You need to know that so that you know what to multiply by. And how do we know to multiply? Why didn't we add or subtract? How do we know to multiply? Well, remember, times as many are clue words that indicate we may be multiplying. We can do that by skip counting, doubling through addition, our ratio tables, etc. So if Megan has 14 marbles and Patrick has nine times as many marbles as Megan, how many marbles does Patrick have? That's what I would write down for 1A. Now we need to write an equation for the problem and we will use a letter to stand for the unknown quantity. If we write 14 times 9, is that an equation? I'm hoping you are saying no really loud at me because that is not an equation. I am missing a very important part. Do you know what it is? That's right. It's the equal sign. There he is. So to write the equation for this problem, we would write 14 times 9 equals M. And we will use the letter M to stand for marbles. Okay, so is this now an equation? I hope you're saying yes, yes, yes. It has an equal sign and that makes it an equation. The rest of the question says use a letter for the unknown quantity. Even if you're not sure what that means, do you think we did that? We used a letter. We used M for the part we did not know. The unknown quantity is a fancy way of saying that. Unknown could mean the part we don't know. The quantity means amount. Now it's time to solve this. How do we find what M is? 
Think about how you would solve the problem and think about strategies you could use to help you. I accidentally pushed the button for one of the strategies I used. Um, and maybe this one works for you. You could add nine 14 times. You could add 14 nine times. What else could you do to show your work? If you don't have your math journal with you, you can actually show your work on the next blank page or blank day in your planner. And I would love to see how you solve this when I come around to check in the morning. So here's another way to solve um, that may, may make sense to you. Um, this was my way. If you know the nines trick, which we practiced in class, then this one may really be your jam. We know that seven plus seven is 14, right? So we can break 14, see 14? Seven plus seven is 14. We can break 14 up into two parts, two multiplication problems that we know. Seven times nine is 63, and then again, seven times nine is 63. After that, we can add up 63 plus 63 and get the answer of 126. So M is 126, 126 marbles. You could also um, cross multiply if you know that strategy. Um, I'll walk you through it. For this one, put the larger number on top, that's the 14, and the smaller number on the bottom, which is the nine, and then multiply nine times four. We know that is 36, so I put the six on the bottom, and I'm gonna carry the three in the tens place above the one over here. Then I'm gonna diagonally multiply, cross multiply, nine times one, and we know that nine times one is nine. And then I have the three up top, so I'm gonna add three to my answer nine. Nine plus three is 12, and I'm gonna tack that on to my six there to make 126 six marbles. So now I want to know what strategy worked best for you and why. So share in the comments below and I can't read, wait to read your answers. Bye-bye.